Chapter 1 Introduction System Configuration The FMD 3000 comprises of various components that includes monitors, processor units, and sensor adapters. The processor unit is connected to various sensors that perform navigation calculations, route planning, and route monitoring. The sensor adapters interface between the processor unit and external equipment. The operator controls the ECTUS with the ECTUS control unit RCU024 or the trackball control unit RCU026. These units are equipped with a trackball module, trackball, right and left mouse buttons and a scroll wheel. All functions of the ECTUS can be accessed from the trackball module. The RCU024 is additionally equipped with an alphabet keyboard. Processor Unit EC3000 The processor unit is the heart of the ECTUS system and is mainly responsible for the chart management, route planning and route navigation. The processor unit has two power switches. The main switch controls the power from the switchboard and the power switch controls the power to the ECTUS system. Note that ECTUS should not be operated with a DVD or CD inserted in the DVD drive as it can damage the drive and medium. Insert medium only to update charts. Also, don't forget to close the lid of the DVD drive when the drive is not in use. How to power the system to power on the system, push the main switch on the processor unit for the I position. Turn on the power switch on the processor unit or a control unit. The startup display appears on the monitor. How to power off the system. To power off the system, press the power switch on the processor unit or a control unit. Push the main switch for the O position. The Standby Mode The Standby Mode requires a password to activate. It deactivates the audio alarms from the Ectus. Use this mode when the Ectus is not required, like in a harbour. To go to the Standby Mode, first click the Others button on the status bar, then click Standby. Have the holder of the password enter the password, then click the OK button. ECTUS Control Unit RCU-024 The RCU-024 consists of controls, keys, alphabet keyboard and trackball module such as trackball, scroll wheel and left and right mouse buttons. The trackball module functions like a PC mouse. Description of controls Power switch turns the system on or off with a Furuno monitor unit, the monitor is also turned on or off with this switch. Status LED. The color and state of the LED change according to system or alert status. When LED is lit green, indicates normal operation status, no alerts generated. When LED is showing green, flashing indicates the heater on the CPU board is on because ambient temperature is not at least zero degrees Celsius. The heater takes about two minutes to warm the equipment. The LED lights green after the heater goes off. When LED is showing red, lighting indicates acknowledged alert or system fail. Each control unit detects trouble and its lamp flashes in red and the buzzer sounds. When LED is showing red, flashing indicates unacknowledged alert or system fail. EBL rotary encoder indicates adjusts active EBL. EBL1 activates or deactivates EBL1. EBL2 activates or deactivates EBL2. Alarm ACK is for alert acknowledgement for alerts generated by chart, navigation, etc. Instant access knob Escape key selects and processes the functions on the instant access bar. The instant access knob features include 
Rotate. Selects item. Push. Confirms selection. Escape key. Goes back one step in the current operating sequence on the instant access bar. Brill. The features of Brill are Rotate. Adjusts the brilliance of a Furuno monitor. Push. Selects a color palette. AC Rain, ACC and Gain is of no use. Alphabet keyboard is used to enter alphanumeric data. The control key has no function. VRM rotary encoder adjusts active VRM. MFD switches between the ECDIS and conning modes. VRM1 activates or deactivates VRM1. VRM2 activates or deactivates VRM2. Undo. Undo the last operation when creating a root or user chart. View or hide. Shows or hides the instant access bar. Root information box. VRMs. EBLs. Overlay or nave tools box. Range selects the chart scale. ACQ or act. Activates cursor selected sleeping AIS target. Target data. Displays detailed target data for selected TT, AIS target. Target cancel. Sleeps cursor selected activated AIS target. USB port is used for connection of USB flash drive. FAT16 or FAT32 format. Do not connect a USB hard drive or PC keyboard. The DVD drive maker TEAC type PUDRV10 is for chart updates. Trackball module. The description of trackball module will be explained in subsequent chapters. Trackball control unit RCU026. The components of RCU026 includes a power switch, a trackball module that houses a trackball, scroll wheel, and left and right mouse buttons. It has a status LED and a USB port. The trackball module functions like a PC mouse. The user rolls the trackball and operates the left and right buttons and the scroll wheel to do various functions. How to select a color palette. The system provides three sets of color and brilliant sets called palette that is categorized as day, dusk and night. Day palette includes day gray and day blue. Dusk includes dusk gray and dusk blue. Night includes night gray and night blue. Palette allows us to match any ambient lighting condition. The panel dimmer setting is automatically changed. To select a palette, click the Palette button. Next, select Day, Dusk or Night as appropriate. For example, select to show its options. Then click the palette desired. Note that a palette can also be selected by pushing the Brill control on the control unit. Manual Brilliance Adjustment The brilliance of the Furuno monitor can only be adjusted from the control unit. 1. To adjust the brilliance manually by using the Brill control. First operate the Brill control. Turn it clockwise to increase the brilliance and counterclockwise to decrease the brilliance. Next, watch the brilliance level indication on the Brill button to see the correct brilliance level. 2. To adjust the brilliance manually by using the instant access knob, first push the instant access knob, then rotate the knob to select the Brill button and push the knob to show the brilliance adjustment window. Push the knob once more and rotate it to set the brilliance. Then push it again to confirm the setting. 
the calibration state indication changes to Uncalib. To adjust the brilliance manually using the trackball module, click the Brill button on the instant access bar to show the brilliance adjustment window. Next, for course adjustment, put the cursor on a location within the slider bar area and then push the left button. For fine adjustment, put the cursor on the end of the slider bar and roll the trackball while holding down the left button. Release the left button to confirm setting. The calibration state indication changes to Uncalib. How to select sensor settings. This ECDIS system accepts navigation data input two ways, system or local. 1. Right-click anywhere in the Sensor Information box to show the context-sensitive menu. Then click Local or System as applicable. 2. From Menu. Open the menu and click System or Local Select on the Sensor menu. Then click the box next to System Sensor or Local Sensor as appropriate. Then click the Save button. How to enter ship speed. Right click anywhere in the Own Ship Information box to show the context sensitive menu and click Setting. Next, click System Sensor Settings or Local System Settings as applicable. Then click the SPD tab. Automatic Speed Input. To set automatic speed input, First, check Sensors. Next, check Log or GPS at Sensor Type as appropriate. Then select Bottom or Water at Stabilization Mode. Select Bottom if GPS is the source of speed data or Water if a speed log is the source of speed data. Click the Save button to save settings. Manual Speed Input to set manual input, set the stabilization mode for water and check manual. Enter the speed using the scroll wheel or software keyboard. Next, check sensors. After that, check log or GPS at sensor type as appropriate. Next, select bottom or water at stabilization mode. Select bottom if GPS is the source of speed data or water if a speed log is the source of speed data. Click the Save button to save settings, then click the Close button to close the menu. How to enter heading. To choose manual or automatic heading, right-click anywhere in the Own Ship Information box to show the context-sensitive menu. Next, click the Setting button. Then click System Sensor Settings or Local System Settings as applicable and click the HDG tab. Automatic Heading Input For automatic heading input, check Sensors and set the priority for each sensor connected. Click the Save button to save settings and then close the menu by clicking Close button. For manual input, check Manual. Next, enter heading by spinning the scroll wheel or by entering numeric data with the keyboard on the control unit. Click the Save button to save the settings. How to mark MOB position. The MOB, Man Overboard feature, can be used to mark the position of a man overboard on the display screen. It can be accessed in any mode on the instant access bar. When operated, the MOB mark instantly appears at the geographical position of your ship. To hide an MOB mark, right-click the mark to show the context-sensitive menu, then select Hide MOB. 
100 MOB marks can be saved and above 100, the oldest mark is automatically erased. Split Screen You can split the screen in two, horizontally or vertically, in the Voyage Navigation mode. To activate the split screen or return to the full screen, click the DISP and 2DISP buttons on the Instant Access bar to show the choices for screen division. Then click the screen division desired. This is an example of vertical split screen. The active display can be switched by clicking an active button at the top of the display. Tips To get a tip, simply put the cursor on an object. The tip appears to the right of the object. For example, put the cursor on the Brill button on the Instant Access bar. The tip Adjust Brilliance appears.